front line, wearing number seven, Riva Danisa. The league's leader in assists and steals. He's the league's consummate point guard, wearing number ten. It's the Bullet Dindo Kuwait. And now the starting lineup for Blue Boots Army Cowboys. At guard, a prize ring created by giving Blue Boots steady play from the point guard spot, wearing number eight, Genesis John King Sasuma. A key off-season acquisition, this sweet street guard has improved to become the league's leader in three-point field goal percentage, wearing number three, Elmer. This talented center's defensive skills are already legendary in the PBA. Where at number 44, it's the defense minister, Jerry Cunningham. <laughs> the PBA's 1992 rookie of the year, this multi-skilled swimman has enjoyed the assets in this past conference, wearing jersey number one, Paul Rampana. And of course, the captain of the Pure Foods Corn Beat Cowboys. He's a gay three time MVP. How do the best four? How do you get the game today? Number 16, Alvin Capimaggio. And in his first time in the hell, he's the first rookie coach since 1993 to lead his ball club to the finals. The head coach for the Pure Foods Corn Beat Cowboys, Eric Alfred.
Well, Gambong starting units, or rather ang lineups ng dalawang pupunan, together with the starting units, we're coming in from the Cuneta Astrodome, live dito po sa gitna ng Pasay City. And uh, game one is just about to start right now. And we'll throw, we have a couple of people na ikang uh, nakakuha ng konting notes tungkol sa mga bagay-bagay sa dalawang kupunan. Unahin muna natin si Butch Maniego kasama o para sa Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys. Butch? Maraming salamat, Noli. Alam mo, ang uh, mensahe ni Coach Eric Altamiran sa mga players niya going into the finals is that you better just relax and have fun. Walang umaasa na, na makaabot tayo sa finals. So the fact na nandito tayo, bonus na ito. At si Coach Eric din ay nagbigay ng parang theme sa kanyang mga players. Sa ang uh, sabi niya ay uh, we should march to victory by being one in purpose and spirit. So yon ang theme ng Pure Foods going into the finals. Balik tayo sa iyo, Noli. Maraming salamat, Butch. And obviously, marami rin uh, ikang uh, encouraging words sa kanilang dugout. Ngayon, punta naman tayo sa panig ng Gordon Zinn. At nandun naman si Anthony Suntay. Anthony? Okay. Okay, thanks a lot, Nolly. You know, I came inside. I came from inside the locker room. This is game one of the finals, but to coach Robert Jaworski and his players, this is just another game that they've been preparing for, for the ultimate crown, which is making it to the All-Filipino Championship. Nandito na po sila sa championship, and they want to win the title, the All-Filipino. Now, I went into the locker room a couple of times. They're very relaxed, just as always, but they're very serious, and they're all business. Let's go back to you, Nolly. Thank you guys. Well, Dr. J, the stage is set and obviously this is going to be a war dito sa, ikang, uh, sa game number one. Right now, before we have the opening tip-off, we'll turn you over to studios for some more reminders. Once again, good evening, Philippines. Noli Yala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Howe. Opening tip-off, Dr. J. A few surprises. Uh, starting five, lalong-lalo ng Gordon's Gin. Nagpapasimula si Wilmer Ong, who has never started dito sa semifinals, or at least dito sa All-Filipino Conference para sa Gordon's Gin. Yes, in lieu of Marlo Aquino, siguro konting pacing ang ginagawa ni Coach Jaworski, who's using some wily tactics, uh, you know, when people are saying na medyo ma-outcoach siya dito. On the other hand, he also uses uh, Pito Jarencio, instead of using Baldavid to start off. No? So, gusto niya mag-match up later on si Baldavid at saka si uh, Tindo Pumarin when both are fresh. Si Pito Arencio also never started the semi-final round, although he did start eight times para sa Gordon's Gym. Samantala, si Jericho Dinera mukhang uh, walang problema even with his mask ay dead shot pa rin from the perimeter, Dr. J. And that's what he gives this team because he knows how to position himself uh, pag may naiipit at may sumasaksak at naiipit. Then he comes in and receives the ball, shoots that 15, 10-footer, uh, usually with a lot of precision. An illegal pick early in the ball game called against uh, Wilmer Ong. Ang mga referees natin for these ball games are referees De Leon, Bernarte, at saka si Franco Ilagan. That's a turnover laban sa Gordon's Gin. Nung semifinal round, Doc, uh, talagang nag-ingat itong Gordon's Gin. Yung kanilang average sa, sa turnovers went down to just 16.9 in the semis from 21 so obviously Tom Gordon's Jin is also very careful with their possessions Mintis ang turnaround ni Jerry Codinera at si Dodot Jaworski ang may dala ngayon a lot of people are wondering kung magpapasimula si Dodot Jaworski lalong lalo na sa isang kampiyonato katulad na to and a good block mula kay Bong Ravenna 3 point shot Jaworski in and out well what did I tell you yesterday uh oh oh <laughs> <laughs> I was almost certain he was going to start. I was. I am surprised that Marlo does not start. Ooh. You know, I saw that earlier today on a defensive rebound. Huh? When Bartley started swinging uh, his uh, elbows that way after a defensive rebound, the referees gave the ball to the opponent. Well, well strict to sila sa NBA. Elmer Lago will pick up his first foul. You know, you broke, you broke up or ikaw nga pinag-usapan na yung series na to, Dr. Jadon, sa ating primer. But again, ang pinag-usapan dito, this is going to be an offense versus defense yes, series. Yes, yes. Another and offensive second, foul. Dalawa na kagad na inabot ni Wilmer Ong. You know, that thing used to be legal in the PBA. I remember Abby King, Ramon Fernandez, you can ask them about that. That's what they used to do with the Toyota team all the time. They would use the ball, hold it, and use their bodies as they turn around and give the ball to the cutters. Pero ngayon, tinatawagan na ng illegal uh, screening. Nakakasakit din yun ang konti, no, Doctor? Kaya, 
Medyo pinagpabawal na. Minti sa tira ni Alvin Patrimonio. And Nolly looks in with a rebound. Nolly looks in's numbers during the semifinal round. Dipped just a bit in terms of scoring, pati sa rebounding. And obviously, he's going to be looked at ng Gordon Sion dito sa championship. Nakailangan, nakailangan nilang bumalik ang explosive na laro ni The Tank. Oh. Only six seconds left on the shot clock. Two to shoot. Pido Horencio, pumasok sa gitna. Wala pa rin. Will Marong offensive rebound na bitawan. At Bong Ravena ang may dala ngayon. Bounce pass. Donking sa Suman. Open sa three. Patay! Yes. Well, the defensive team is providing the defense as well as the offense as they take a 5 to nothing lead here. Gordons has been hard-pressed to even get off a decent shot, although the most decent shot that they had was the layup of Arejo, which he missed. That's no? right. Nobody was surprised that si si Don King Sosuman. He has started in all eight games of uh, Corned Beef Cowboys, the semifinals. Vince Season, wala pa rin, and there's still no points. So scoreboard para sa Gordon's Gin. I see very little movement on the offense of Gordon's and that's why they're having a lot of problems. Their screening plays have not worked because they've already been called twice for illegal screens. Almost another three-point shot. Noli Loxin clears his third defensive rebound of the game. Loxin pa rin. Tuloy-tuloy. Tuloy-tuloy. Wala pa rin with the left hand. Almost had a free lane to the, to the basket. Elmer Lago goes up, gets another two points, and it's a 7 to nothing run here. Para sa Pure Foods Corned Beef Cowboys. And Gordon's Jeans fans, of course, are shocked. Well, it's still very early in the ballgame, but the mere fact that they, they cannot execute their plays and they cannot get off a decent shot is what's bothering the team right now. Loxin is down to six seconds on the shot clock. He'll have a decent jump shot, and he makes it. At finally, nabutas na yung basket ng uh, Gordon's Gin. Si Noli Loxin ang nagbigay ng kanilang unang dalawang puntos. Jericho Dinera from the perimeter and he's two out of three from the field this early in the ballgame. Well, if you look at the lineup of Gordon's, dadalawa lang talaga ang masasabi mo may konting eksperyensa dyan sa ganitong labanan. Oh. Si Pido Harencio and maybe a little of Noli Loxin. But the rest are not experienced players as far as championship series kaya sila nagkakairap. And watch why Baldevid is going to the bench right now. No place of being good called properly. That's going to be a foul on Patrimonio against Nolly Loxin. Clash in midair. Well, the matchup na yan, Dr. J. Yung uh, makikita natin throughout the series. The captain versus the tank. Unang foul ni Alvin Patrimonio. Great pass inside. And Nolly Loxin will go to the free throw line. That was a good pass by Pido Harenjo. He found me cutting Nolly Loxin. You know, he's in the sa Gordon said. Many of them are standing around waiting for the first options of the play. Pero kung wala nang nangyari doon sa first option, eh medyo nakatayo na sila, hindi na nila malaman kung anong screening plays ang gagawain nila. Loxin gets the three points. An early substitution here. Baldabit coming in for Pido Harenjo. Kinakausap ni Coach Sunny Jaworski si Pido Harencio. Tinawag niya sa tabi niya. Ang hindi nangyayari sa atin dito ay ganito-ganito. Hindi ka nakakatawag. Masyado mabagal ang baba natin ng bola. Naiipit tayo ng oras. There are only 24 seconds in our shot clock. Remember, we used to have 25. <laughs> no? That added second is a lot. Si Luxin nagpasan sa free throw line. And he will have to do that. Dahil lang natin uh, siguro mapapal lang gusto mo sa dito sa series na to. Atin po score, Pure Foods Siam, apat ang Gordon's Gin at may tulak si Dodot Jaworski laban kay Elmer Lago. That will be the first foul on Jaworski Jr. And that will be also the first team foul dahil yung dalawang fouls ni Ong were both offensive fouls and are not considered team fouls. 7 minutes and 12 seconds dito sa ating first quarter. 9 to 4 ang count in favor of Pure Foods. Ito po ang panglabing isang championship appearance para sa dalawang koponan. Jerry Codinera gets another basket, six points para sa defense minister. Well, the guy needed to play and they asked him to play and so far he has come up with big numbers. Now, six points already para kay Jerry, some defensive rebounds. Do it the worst. He sees a layup and goes all the way. Pati yung mga kalaban niya, nabigla. Pati yung kakampi niya, nabigla. Eh. He sees that opening and he went all the way. Pinabayaan si Jaworski and he will not... He can uh, disappoint the fans. Bong Ravenna, he has played well against Gordon's Gin. Ang average niyan sa head-to-head matchup nila sa Gordon's, 19 points kada laro. Inilaglag ni Patrimonio, libre ng bahagya, patay yes. na naman. Well, if you have a shot chart, you will see most of the shots are of pure foods are on the left-hand side of the floor. Jerry hit a couple there. 
Alvin hit there. You saw the three-point shot of Susuman from that area. Napakataas ang shooting percentage, Dr. J, ng uh, Pure Foods right now, ah. Huh? Yes, it does happen. You know, it's just like one good quarter for you, you might have a bad quarter and the other team can come back. Well, he locks in and he is lifting this team. Ang uh, pinagmamalaki ng Bacol at City, anim na puntos na po. 13 to 8, lima pa rin ang abante ng Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys. Under six minutes to play, it is the first quarter. Donking Sasuman, fall away, lumabas! And again, Nolly looks into the rebound play. Parang very tireless in Nolly para pumunta sa Belgium. Regular Dennis Rodman without the technical foul. <laughs> yes, in the hairdo. <laughs> and never mind the hairdo. <laughs> Lima po ang kapate. Ang Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys. A game that both teams have said in the papers they both want to win. There's a momentum, a missed shot from the three-point range. Isa pa, mula kay Vince Eason, wala pa rin. Well, be that baby ni Pin Season ang kanyang mga tira. Oh, a tough shot mula kay Elmer Lago. Uh, tatawagan ng foul si Val David. And that'll be number one. First personal foul on number one si Val David with 5.15 remaining. We have this first time out. Green Cross Rubbing Alcohol, the official rubbing alcohol of the PBA. Partner natin sa kalusugan. As early as a week ago, sold out na po itong Cuneta Asylum at pati na ang uh, ganga. Siguro, karamihan ng games dito sa championship series. And why not? This is a dream series by any language. Dalawa sa pinakapopular na kopunan sa PBA at yung top two teams ng All Filipino ang nagtatagpo sa kampionato, Dr. J. One well, out of two from the line, si Elmer Lago. Well, talaga na may mess na dito sa defensive board si Nolly Luxin because he really works hard for it. And he always times his jump perfectly. Still a six-point lead being enjoyed here by the Cowboys. And again, 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Nothing going yet for the Gordons team. Down to six. Hindi pa rin makaset na mabuti and the defense is straight up for Pure Foods. Only a second to shoot. Almost an hour. And we said this is going to be an offense versus defense series and obviously ang uh, Corn Beef Cowboys nagpapakita na kagad ng ngipin nila sa depensa. Yes, I think uh, in other words, they have scouted and know the plays of the opposition well. You would expect that Sonny would come out with some different plays as the finals come in. He has come out with different strategies with his starting five unit. There is a play patterns almost still the same. In fact, mukhang ang nasa sorpresa dito sa starting five. Hindi yung Corn Beef Cowboys, hindi yung Gordon Steele. Dahil mukhang hindi nalang malaman kung sino ang gagawa in the absence of Marlo Aquino. Yes. And meanwhile, usually Patrimonio doesn't start off very strong for this team. Already has four points. And he really has not had that many touches. It really will give you that uh, amaya, amaya. Uh, later. Mintis na naman from the outside. It's Jaworski and Gordon Steele has been... Miserable from the field here. Three out of twelve. And Purefoot seven out of twelve. Three point shot. Wala. And ang bola mananatili sa panic ng Gordon's Gin. Eight point lead para sa Corn Beef Cowboys. At ngayon, yung konting uh, pagpapalit si Coach Sonny Jaworski. JV Gayoso checking in para kay Vince Pizon. You know, we're eight minutes gone and Aquino has not yet come into the ball game. Hindi natin tuloy alam. Meron ba yung diferensya si Marlo para not to even start off. He might be, he might have a fever or whatever. Meantime, another three-point shot para kay Sasuman. Eh, pinobomba ng Pure Foods ang Gordons dito sa Opensa, giving them a taste of their own medicine. The no? Donking Sasuman, originally drafted in 1994 ng Pop Cola, waved and played in the PBL, became an MVP, and he's now playing in the Championship Series. Samantala, oh, a foul. Alvin Patrimonio, natagap na kanyang ikalawang personal foul. Benny Cheng now coming in for Dudu Jaworski. Aquino continues to ride the bench. But nakikita natin kausap ni Philip Cesar dahil dito sa ating side yung bench nila. No? Yes. There you see him. And he has not put on his glasses so oh. there's no intention <laughs> of coming in yet. <laughs> well, alam natin na maglalaro ng napakaraming minuto si Marlo Aquino, Dr. Jen. May also be one of those strategies ni Sonny Jaworski. Samantala, well, he better come up with something because they're down by 11 and they have no control of the game at all. They're getting massacred by the players. And there's nobody in the middle to control the game for them with Aquino seated down. There's no way that he can keep Aquino seated down. 
Napakaganda ng cut ni Elmer Lago. He got a perfect feed at si Benny Cheng would pick up a foul. Three-point opportunity here para kay Elmer Lago and Gordon's Jin really looking very flat at least dito sa first quarter. And look, they cannot even con- almost control the rebound. Alam mo, hindi mamamartida na naman sila dito. Oh. Contra sa pure foods, no? But it's still a long way to go, like I said. Good pass. Good pass to Benny Cheng. This is a guy that really should play more in the series because he has played the championship series with pure foods on his very first year and he won with that team. Nayang at ang kanyang laro nung semifinal round. Nag-average siya ng almost 5 points a game, including almost 2 rebounds. Jericho Dinera has been hot from the outside and he yes. continues to be so. And it's a mismatch for Noli Loxin because Noli is 3 inches shorter than he is. No matter how high he jumps, he's got to jump to be able to hit the jump shot of Jericho Dinera. Bakers doesn't lead here for uh, Pure Foods. 2 minutes and 40 seconds left dito sa ating first quarter. And Gordon's Jin in their head-to-head laman sa Pure Foods averages 4 shot blocks pero dahil nandun si Marlo Kino, right now he has not made a single second traveling. here at may traveling na naman another turnover charge to Gordon's Jin they're down by 13 two and a half remaining we have another timeout Sakit ng katawan? Time for alaksan. Also for rheumatism and arthritis. Even for toothaches. Muli po nagagala kami makasama kayo, Pilipinas, for game number one of the championship series. Si Marlo Aquino ay pumasok na para sa Gordon's Gin. Kasama na rin ng uh, malalaro na si Edmund Reyes para sa Pure Fits Corn Beef Cowboys at si Dindo Pumarin sa point guard ng Cowboys. Well, immediately his presence is felt because he, he keeps Jerry out of the lane and makes sure that he does not get any touches. No? Oh. Saka yung kumpihansa ng team na merong Marlo Aquino and you can see extra motion there between Valdebid and Dindo Pumarin who is an expert at psyching out his opponents. That's right. And uh, that is the right thing for referee De Leon to do, come in between to make sure that there would be no altercation or any extra motions that would elicit technical fouls or uh, raise the tempers of the particular players. Doc, siguro isang katanungan din yan. How is uh, the physicality going to affect this series, Dr. J? Well, so far, we have not seen any. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, it really depends. It also depends on how much the referees will allow them to play physical in the sense na anong fouls ang tatawagan mo at anong hindi mo tatawagan. Eh, very early, nabira ka agad si Ong ng dalawang uh, offensive fouls and screenings. And Marlo Aquino, like he said, makes his presence felt by making his first shot. Si Marlo Aquino in their head-to-head matchup. Kaya na napanggit natin, 17.8 points per game. His conference average is 19.4. He's second in the league. And there's a traveling violation laban kay Bong Ravenna. This lead is down to 11. Well, you know, if you ask Coach Baby Talupa, at kilalang-kilalang naman niya siguro kasi yung pinapanggit, maybe usually would start off uh, with a team that can surprise opponents. At the same time, minsan naalala mo nga. But of course, uh, meron na siya mga team katulad ng Chris Potts or mga press so that had the ability to come back. <laughs> Let's see if Gordon has that ability to come back as Benny hits another good jumper from the outside. Dating manlalaro yan ng pure foot, si Benny Cheng has cut down the Cowboys lead to 9 points as we enter the 1 minute mark ng unang yukto. Pinakamalaking lamang dito was 13 points, no? It's down to 9. Odinera, hinahamong si Marlo Aquino. Cross-court pass. Lago, he's deadly from that area. He misses the shot at may loose ball foul. Naitatawag laban kay Benny Cheng. That will be number two on Benny Cheng. With that much time remaining sa first quarter. At ngayon, si Ray Evangelista coming off the bench. Papalta niya si uh, Elmer Lago, Ray Evangelista, also uh, going to be a very key player dito sa series ito, Dr. J. And that is where a lot of people say Pure Foods has the advantage. It's the depth of their bench. Look at those people coming off the bench. May quality rin yan. Eh, no? Edmund Reyes, inilapas kay Bong Ravenna. Ravenna will take a three. And he does not get another one. Another rebound para kay Noli Loxin. And Noli Loxin doesn't care how big that lead is. It's just the first quarter. Meantime, he'll take care of business by rebounding, by trying to do what he does best. 31.8 seconds. Nasa penalty na ngayon ang Pure Foods when the ball is given to uh, Gordons. No? So we'll probably have about two more plays coming up for us. No? 
Pitong rebounds na po si Noli Loxin. Nasa first quarter pa lamang tayo. Idagdag pa natin ang anim na puntos na nakuha na niya. 23-14 ang ating score at ang uh, Gordon Sheen nagtatangkang tapyasin pa ang abante ng Pure Foods Combi Cowboys. Well, look at Gayoso here. He's looking for too many plays. You go to Marlo Aquino, there is the play right there. And now they only have five seconds on the shot clock and it's going to be black. See, they went to too many plays. And there's a timeout being requested by Edmund Reyes to try to save the ball. Will it be given to him? No, it will not. But at the same time, it only leaves Gordon's two seconds on their shot clock. Actually, mas mabuti, mas mabuti para sa Gordon's na pinigay oh. na nakuha na nila yung timeout eh. Because exactly. that would the second timeout. Only two seconds of shot clock ng Gordon's din. At mag inbound sila. Benny Cheng has to put this one up. He goes up. That will be short. It would have counted if it got it, pero walang tinamaan, so naging violation. So less than five seconds na lang po ang nalalabi sa ating first quarter. Okay, a quarter that's been dominated ng Corn Leaf Cowboys. Edmund Reyes gets the basket! At dyan magwawakas ang ating unang yugto. What a quarter, especially for Jerry Codinera. Otso puntos na po si Defense Minister at ang Corn Leaf Cowboys on top by 11 after one. Paddock's Jeans, a legend on its own. Paddock's, the official jeans of the PBA. Nagpasimula ang second quarter with a steal. almost a completed uh, fast break off a steal ni JV Gayoso pero hindi na ipasok ni Gayoso. Inside pass, muntik ng maagaw. Evangelista with a left hand and gets a bucket. Well, they had a nice steal. Oh, naagaw pa. Ravenna, traveling ang natawag dyan. Uh, that was a steal by uh, Gayoso. And he cannot even finish a layup. So what's going to happen to them? You know, I mean, he had a steal. He wasn't challenged on the layup. But you can see the pressure being felt by this Boers team, especially the young players, because they're so far behind right now. They're by, down by 13 points. Doc Siguro, again, we will go back to the starting unit. Na ibinasa ko sa niya Jaworski. We take a look at Benny Chang. Offensive foul ang tatawag sa kanya. Yung kanyang surpresa na gusto niyang ipakita sana, nagpakita nga, nagbackfire sa kanyang Yeah, right now it is, it has uh, obviously backfired in his face because uh, those guys never really got started at all. And now they have to work their way back from a big deficit. It's not impossible and it's not improbable, pero it's gonna be, take a lot of hard work. Kasi dito sigurado, it's gonna push Aquino in this quarter. No? Hindi yung siguro aalisin yan. And as long as he does not get into foul trouble, he's going to have to work hard. But Loxin has said no rest. While on the other side, you see Patrimonio and Jericho Dinera both resting right now. Right now, sinusubukan ni Eric Altamirano ang kanyang bench. He's brought in Sani Cabatu, Edmund Reyes, who takes a short jumper off a turnaround. At a loose ball, mapipulot ni Edmund Reyes. Hindo Kumare, nakakita na naman ang buwang. And that will not go, but Ronaldo is the one who is going to put that. And that's going to be stolen. You can see now that everything is crumbling here for Gordons because they came off with a very bad start. Bad start. You know, now they're rushing things. They're trying to rush themselves back into the ball game. While you can see Dindo on the other hand is controlling the pace and tempo of the ball game. Dindo Bumaran leads the league in assists. Oh, who will be the one who will be the one? That's going to be blocked. Edmund Reyes, only a second remaining sa shot clock at mauubos na. May kasama pa 3 second violation kay Sani Cabato. That's right. So again, si Marlo Aquino nagpakita ng kanyang defensive prowess. Leads the league in shot clocks. So balit, labing lima pa rin po ang abante ng Purefoot Score with Cowboys. Some numbers in the first quarter. Miserable shooting para sa Gordon's Gym. Meanwhile, we have a foul on the other side called against Sani Cabato. Pushing off against Marlo Aquino. Alam mo, Dok, ang isa pa dito, napakatahimik right now ng Cuneta Aslo. And that's one thing na gusto ng Purefoot's Corned Beef Cowboys, alisin sa picture, ika nga, ang home crowd or home court advantage nitong Gordon's Gym. Which was very evident to na tatawag sila ng starting five as well as the whole lineup of the team. But you know, Gordons is going to have the run as uh, you see this miss by Gayoso from the three-point territory. Gordons is going to have the run and the crowd is going to get back in. Now, how well Pure Foods uh, stays under that kind of pressure is another story. That's going to be a foul on Gayoso. And Evangelista is a big mismatch for Gayoso. He cannot guard him at the low post area. No, it's very interesting ang ginagawa ngayon ni Eric Altamirano at Dr. J. Every mismatch na akala niyang mismatch, he is trying to attack. And right now, yung Evangelista, Gayoso, ang kanyang inaatake. 
Alam mo ito ginagawa nila sa practice, eh, preparado na yan. Ito, pag ginamit itong klaseng lineup, they use a small lineup, they use a three-card lineup. We're going to go to this guy against this guy. You practice that almost every day. So automatic yan. And Dindo being a point guard, who knows that? He's not even going to give the ball or think of anybody else but where the mismatch is. A tale of two coaches. Nakita rin natin kanina, Sonny Jaworski and Eric Altamirano. Eric Altamirano is just trying to become only the second coach to win in his rookie stint as a head coach ng isang PBA team and trying to become the third youngest coach sa PBA history na makapanalo ng Corona behind uh, Coach Chuck Reyes at si Norman Black. Pumagana si Sonny Jaworski in his 29th PBA Finals appearance as a player and a coach. Samantala, ito sa layup na naman ni J.B. Goyosa from short range. This is a 17-point lead para sa Corn Leaf Cowboys. Kumaren, jump shot, yes! And Gordon needs a timeout. They gotta regroup. They've got to get some substitutions on the floor right now. This crew is not gonna work for them because they're really trying to rush themselves back into the ball game. He's in webinar. Ang abante ng Pure Foods. Inilabas. Right to the shot, may blocking foul si Ray Evangelista. I'm not really surprised at that. Parang hindi totoo ito. Hindi ang tapere ko. Tommy Manotok won a championship in 1978 when he was aged 29 years old. Well, i-double check natin. Yeah, I know because I was part of that. I should know. He was born in 1949 and he won in 1978. So he was 29 years old when he won a championship in the PBA. Our stats... Ika nga Chief dito si Willie Marshall at si Fidel Bongonan. Samantala, this season missing a jump shot from the three-point range and they have really struggled from the outside. May lose ball foul si J.P. Gayoso. Well, a bad start. This is what has happened. Right now, they're really struggling to get themselves back. They only have 14 points. We're already in the second quarter with 8.42. So, mabibilang mo ang puntos niya. Galing kay... Kay Loxin, meron dalawa kay Aquino, meron dalawa kay Jaworski Jr. Pero kung konti lang yung ibang contribution. Huli kami naman sa likod. But that's really isolated yung mga ikang shining moments dito ng Gordon's yun. Hindi nila may assist ko na, no, Dr. Clay? Yes, and Aquino is trying to rally his boys and his teammates by clapping. Come on, guys, play a little bit relaxed. I think we're too tense. Meanwhile, Patrimonio is back in there looking for the double team, looking for the guys to be free. Asa ni Cabato, wala doon yung kanyang papasahan and the ball will go Gordon Jin's way. 33-14 po ang ating score. Opo, 19 ang abante ng Pure Foods. At nasa second quarter pa lamang tayo. Nori Luxin checking back in here. He has really been the only consistent scorer para sa Gordon Jin. Again, the shot clock. Coming down, nine seconds. So can you not shot clock? Aquino gets it at the low post. He gets the basket. Make a sound of foul. Malaki sa ni Kabato. Yung asin na sabi rin namin sa amin primal. If Jerry would not be playing, that would be a so big an advantage for Marlo Aquino because I don't think Kabato or Bolado can guard Marlo Aquino at the low post area. That's the reason why Kabato has to sit down. Jerry has to come back. But Marlo is not beginning to feel the range. Now they go to Marlo a little bit more. They're calling a lot of plays out of sync. Eh. Oh. Yung when they have a very, very simple play right there in front of them, marami pa silang hinahanap na iba. And that's Marlo having those mismatches. Ika nga, isa na lang ang sausawan mo, yung pinakamasarap. At saka ang gagaling doon kay Marlo at the low post area. That's where those three-point shots of Eason are gonna come in. Oh, and yes. Because pag nagka-double team, doon niya naiikot. Meanwhile, it's still a 16-point lead. Third team foul already against Gordons. Also three team fouls against Pure Food. 7.53 left dito sa ating second quarter of play. Valdevito, mungkat ng kanyang ikalawang personal foul. 7.47. Dito po Maren. Patrimonio. Pinutuloy siya kanina. Uy, hindi ka masundutan. Nakasundutan na nga. Tignan natin kung maitutuloy na ni Valdevito ito all the way. And the lead is down somewhat. 14 points po ang kalamangan ng Pure Foods. Cordinier from the outside. Mintis. Will Meronga nakakuha ng rebound. Natatakbo muli ang mga nakaputi. Molly Luxin outside. Ben Season. He goes closer to the basket. Nagawa ni Dito Pumarin. Nice pick up job. Pick pocket job there. Pumarin naghanap na tatanggap. Inside pass. Edmund Reyes with the right hand deep underneath. Ang lakit bagay. A turnover resulting into two points on the other end. 
16 point lead. It was down uh, to 14. Seven minutes left. Oh, another steal against Baldevid. And then the Pumaran goes all the way home. So, yung apat na puntos na sunog sunod na nakuha ng Gordon Zien kagad na bawe ng Pure Foods with terrific defense here. And the lead is back to 18 here. 6.45, may foul as Aquino tried to cut in. Si Jericho Dinera tatanggap ng kanyang unang personal foul. 6 minutes and 45 seconds left dito sa ating second quarter. Pure Foods has 14 fouls. Gordon has 13 fouls. Incredible ang number ng Pure Foods pagdating sa turnover points, Dr. J. They average 17 points off the turnovers and that's because of their terrific defense. Samantala si Vince Hisa now beginning to click. His first two points of the ball game. And again, we say the simple play, you go to Marlo, he will find opportunities for the other players, oh. which they have not been able to get when he sat down. Kumaran, ball fake. Masyadong malakas. Another rebound for the tank. Anim na minuto, labing limang saglit po ang nalalabi sa ating second quarter. Locks in. Libre siya, pero mintis ang kanyang jump shot. And, and Patrimonio with a 100 Kalawit rebound, making sure at the same time you can see that he faced the opposite side. He, he wanted to look for an outlet pass quickly. Alvin Patrimonio playing in his ninth All Filipino Finals with his team, together with Jericho Dinera. Kanilang batting average, however, only 25% winning Ooh, percentage. Three point shot by Jerry. Hindi <laughs> nasahan. Ang bola napunta pa rin kay Jerry. Evangelista, puporma, pero sabi niya, marami tayong oras sa shot clock. Ilapas natin. 5 and 33 remaining in the game clock. Oh, nagkabanggaan. Yung dalawang uh, malapadir ng intramuros. And that's the third personal foul of Wilmer Ong. Remember, he had two offensive fouls quickly into the ball game. Watch it again here. Trying to jostle for position. That's Wilmer Ong will pick up his third personal foul. It's still a 16-point lead for the Pure Foods. Club Roman traditional fit. Club Roman jeans and shirts. Club Roman. Muli po, magandang magandang gabi Pilipinas. Noli Yala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Howe. At ito po ang uh, tagsa ng tao dito sa loob ng Cuneta Astrodome. At yan po ang ating talaan. Abante ang Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys ng labing anin na puntos, 37-21. The biggest lead was at 19 here in the second quarter. Patrimonyo na kandaduhan ng pintuan papasok sa Shaded Lane. Only 12 seconds to shoot para sa Cowboys. Ivan Elista will take a long one. Good boxing out. Malapit ito, Renzo. And a fast break opportunity almost stolen again. He's on. Yes, yeah, spotting up for his favorite three point shot. Rebound, Mabupunta ka Jericho Dinera. Nearing the five minute mark here. Evangelista, he will take another one and this will go out. Nitik ng magaw na naman ni Pumarin. Well, Bingo is what you would call like a household pest because he will <laughs> never stop trying to make sudut, you know. And that's why when you pick up a rebound, you better be aware of where he is. Alangan si Baldabit, yung uh, ika nga pamatay ng peste. Pangandala, muntik ng uh, maisut sa ilalim ni Marlo Aquino. So, balitan doon ang depensa ng Pure Foods. Ito yung hablang ka ni Jerry yun. Yes. You got a piece of that ball. Locks in. He will fall away. That will be too strong. Evangelista with a rebound. Straddling talaga ang opensa dito ng Gordons. Now, they're getting some uh, decent shots now here in the second quarter, but they've not just been able to convert. Look at that. 21 points, 4 minutes and 20. Two foods, hindi naman marami yan. 37 points lang yan. Oops, nakaan pa rin si Alvin. Pero nakuha muli ni Kapitan. Tumina siya sa tabi. Wala. 10 rebounds na. Parang kinoli locks in. He's already 10 boards and 6 points. Oh, another steal. Turnover para sa Gordons din. Ravenna gets away from two defenders and what a move mula kay Bong Ravenna. I think we really have to look at the turnovers turned into points being done here by the Cowboys. Ha? Ang dami niya. Ang dami niya. Natanggit ko nga. 17 points sa kanilang average kada laro. Mintis na naman. And Evangelista controlling the boards. He has a total of three now in the ballgame. Okay, may traveling si Bong Ravenna. It's a 18 point lead here and another timeout for the Gordon's gym. Here is a letter for Boomer Hall, ladies and gentlemen, here are the Gordon's gym Jacksons.
for those who appreciate quality. Outlast Battery, winner of international awards for quality. Tatlong minuto, dalawampotlima na lang po ang naiiwan dito sa second quarter. Arenzo getting a three-point shot. Unang triple B. Para kay Pido Arenzo and for the game, at least para sa Gordon's Gin. Dahil nagkaroon na ng three-point shot si Donking sa Suma right. kanina. Yes. But you can see again the play. Why is the play possible? Double team against Marlo Kino and... Oh, nice pass by Umare. Ang ganda ng mga penetrations and pass off, drop off, drop off passes. And Loxi is gonna have a field day on this layup as Jerry turned his back on Nolly Loxi. Baka hindi niya tao yun. Oh. Siguro sabi niya, Alvin, tao mo yan. At pinahanap ko si Pablo. Nasa ka, Alvin? Nasa kabila ka na nasa si Nolly. Hindi naman, pagtakbo ngayon ng Pure Foods, Dr. J. 13 fast break points kumpara sa dalawa lamang kanina ng Gordon's Gin. And it's been a half dominated by the blue shirts ni Eric Altamirano. 15-point lead para sa Pure Foods. Arenzo, in this, another rebound para sa Evangelista. Outlet, kumaren, libre na, ahabuli ni Hizon. Wala, ando na naman si Ravenna for the trail. And again, very, very poor safety guard in the person of Arenzo. That's his job. Hizon had to come out from all the way for the backcourt to try to save the first layup. 17-point lead para sa Pure Foods and this Cuneta Astrodome predominantly Gordon's Gin crowd is stunned. Another miss from the outside. Fast break na naman. Ravenna with a fake. He goes up. Easy basket. Uy, medyo natapik yun ah. Wala pa rin bumabalik. Oh, wala. Uh, tsaka actually parang meron ng goal time din yun. Oh. Pero nandun pa rin si ano to finish it off. And again, being clobbered by fast breaks are the boars. Very animated ang coaching staff ng uh, Cowboys on the other side. Pero lang kay Jaworski, everybody there is silent. Oh, a bad pass. Papasok kay Marlo Aquino. Medyo you know, angulo, hindi tama. That's the problem uh, when you don't have a legitimate point guard that can really carry the team during championship series. Alam mo yung mga championship ng Gordons? When you know na si Neto, it was really orchestrated by guys like Sunny Jaworski and Leo Isak. Hindi, talaga sila ang mga veterano ro. They knew what to do. Si Leo Isak, by the way, scout na lang niya tayo. Kobe line. Oo. Ano pa rin siya? And another foul on a driving patrimonio. Two free throws coming up. This is shocking in the fact that Gordon Zinn, as we've been season, will pick up another foul. Is the league's best offensive team. Ang average niya, 93 points a game. Sa kasalukuyan, 26 na puntos pa lamang dito sa second quarter. Only a minute 13 remaining in the first half. And Patrimonio at the free throw line. Big numbers for the conference for Alvin Patrimonio, and it could get better in this series depending on how much load he has to carry for this team. Right now, we see Dr. J. Philip Salvador at saka si, ano, si Ipe at saka si Daboy, Rudy Fernandez. Harap. Only, uh, only the few of the stars. Ika nga na nandito pa sa loob ng Cuneta Astrodome. Hindi talaga tumatanda yan talaga. Lalo na si Rudy. Ano mo, I first met him after a game against the worst team sa laban ng kumpanan namin in 1984 and he still looks the same oh, eh, siyempre may nag-aalaga eh, Dr. J si oh. Lorna T sa mandala, si Vin Season natapyas ng bahagya, isin may pa rin under a minute to play Gordon's is in the penalty so they cannot afford to give up uh, defensive fouls, 3 point shot by si Suman, wala, so May oportunidad pa rito just to show patience, you know. You can have overall 17, 15 points in 2-3 stats. Uh -huh. so you got to show patience in executing your half-court game. Biggest lead stands at 21. Nasapal na bahagya si Vince Hizon ni Bong Ravenna. And they will try to push it up a little more here. Ravenna, dalawang fake, inilabas ni Codinia. Nasabi niya, hintayin natin. Medyo ubusin natin ang oras. About a 3 and a half second differential here. Patrimonio, sumiksik sa loob, mintis. Locks in. Siya pa rin ang may dala. He crosses the center line. Shot clock is off. And a bad pass again. Picked off by Evangelista. Patrimonio. A second remaining. Codinera. Tapped out by Terry Saldana. Helter Skirtel sa bandang huli. Maraming so, salamat, Anthony. Yun naman ang uh, ikang situationer sa panic ng Gordon's Gin. As we start the third quarter, this is Elmer Lago who will kick it out to... Bonking Sasuman and he will get another three-point shot. 
And he increases Purefoot's lead now to 22, Dr. J. This guy has really hurt them because he provides those kind of punchy points that we call it against uh, this team who's trying to make a comeback. Very first play, kerahan ka ng triple B. Pasok ka agad, yun ang mabigat yun. You gotta work. See, now you see Gordon's doing a lot more screening plays and we have a case of illegal defense called against the Cowboys. Okay, illegal defense. Samantha, let's take, let's take this advantage. Let's take this opportunity. Let's throw it to Butch. Para naman sa pure food situation. Or Butch? Maraming salamat, Nolly. Sabi ni Coach Eric Altamirano sa mga players niya, guys, you're doing a good job. But this is the start ng third quarter. You must pretend the score is 0-0. Huwag kayong titingin sa scoreboard. Isustain niyo yung kanyang uh, ginagawa ng first half. And I'm sure maganda mangyayari sa atin. Bulik tayo sa inyo, Nolly. Salamat, Coach Maniego. Again, for the situation, some power to put on right now. Gordon's Jim trying to recruit. Benny Chang gets an easy snap after a good cut and a good pass. Malaki Marlokino. Almost exactly like the play that we drew at halftime. The posting play of Marlokino attracts a double team. You cut into the basket, you get an easy layup. Or if not, you probably will get fouled. Ito naman, ang cut si Donkey sa Suman. Bagyan ang nasapal ni Marlokino. Talagang aabutan. He will make you change the trajectory of your shot. Oh. That's a foul. Yes. Bump foul, Malaki. Donking Sasuman. That will be Sasuman's first personal foul. This is an interesting trivia. Itong dalawang putumalong puntos na score ng Gordon's Dr. J. Nung first half, ang pinakamababa nilang output in half the season. The Boar's previous low was 34, which they did four times. And those three times, or in three times of those uh, other four, and Gordon Jane scored 34. Tapos nakascore sila ng 55 points in the second half. And uh, they went on, Iganga, to come up with a big win. Then he came with back to back baskets, and the bullet ng sinasabi namin, we're looking for starting fives. This guy should be the starting five small forward for this team. There's a foul, sa pagsaksak ng Bong Ravenna. Vinciso, natatawagan muli na foul. I think Hison has also improved his defense against Rabena. No? That's something that I've noticed. Uh, Rabena has not been getting away with murder the way he's been, getting, he's been doing against the uh, Boers in the past three games that we saw them play. I didn't see the game in the province. Nice steal. So, if there's a foul, he's going to call Nori Luxin. Just checking it. Kanina, he's not a foul. If he's not a foul, he's going to call Nori Luxin. Watch this second foul on Nori Luxin. Uh, Nolly was half fronting him and he knocked him to the ground. So it's a good call. Second uh, team foul called against Gordon's. Two minutes gone by dito sa ating uh, third quarter. A double team si Patrimonio. Cross court pass. Under 10 minutes to play. Still a lot of time sa kanilang shot clock. 10 seconds to be exact. Patrimonio in the shaded lane. Semi hook. That will roll out. Fernando na. In and out. Oh, niluwa lang ng basket. Val David. Pull up jumper, medyo pinapalit ni Patrimonio yung angulo, pero nandun pa rin yung basket. And Valdavid now, scoring his fourth point of the ball game, and ang abante ng Pure Foods. Bagya na muling natapyas, labing anim na puntos. Another foul called on Benny Chen. A foul that you would say is useless, because you're fouling the guy 35 feet away from the basket. He's not going to be able to score from there. But Benny hit him with the hip, no? yung tinatawag natin hit foul nung linagpasa na siya nung mas mabilis na player kontra sa kanya. Ang apat na foul ni Benny Cheng. Ngayon na nabanggit po natin si Benny Cheng is a very important player para sa Gordon's Chen. Especially ngayon na uh, ikaw nga ang lalaki ng kanilang kalaban sa front line. Odinera fall away in the middle and he gets another two points. Maganda yung ginawa ng Pure Foods in that play. They sent a first cutter before sending Jerry forcing Marlo Aquino to follow the first cutter. Kaya yung pangalawang cutter na si Jerry Cotinera, mas maliit ang bumabantay sa kanya. Favorite shot ni Nolly Loxin, post a play. Oo, oh, binawi ka agad ni Nolly Loxin. Si Nolly Loxin ngayon, may isang pong puntos na po. He scored six in the first, only two points in the second quarter. Ravenna, dinilaglag ni Cotinera, wala. Tapik, mapupunta kay Baldavid. What a jump by Baldavid, ha? Eh? Inahabol siya ni Sasuman. Nilaglag ni Hazel! Oh, yes! yes! Sabi sa'yo, the run will come and the Boers fans will come alive. It's how well Pure Foods handles the pressure when the fa when the run of Gordon's comes into the ball game. Matagal nang nanahimik ang Gordon's Gin fans. And now we're beginning to hear the chant. Kala ko nasa New York ako. Kanina, yan ang naririnig ko eh. <laughs> Malapit ka na doon, Doc. Malapit ka na pumunta. Maybe not to New York. Oh, a missed shot. Malaki Elmer Lago from his close range. 
Adam Gordon Zinn now with the momentum nearing the eight minute mark 14 point lead Vince season that's a shaded lane in the Lamaski finishing wide open in and out a nice rebounding play by Jerry by knocking Marlo out of the way also with the other hand no talaga magaling po muesto si Jerry Codinera pagdating sa rebounding narito si Bong Ravena Pin pinalit na naman ni Marlo Kino yung shot pero walang Ika nga nag-box out kay Elmer Lago and an offensive rebound and a putback for Elmer Lago. Making up for his miss layout. Back to a 16-point lead. 7 minutes and 35 seconds left. 3 team fouls against Gordon's. 1 against the Cowboys. This is game number 1, mga kaibigan, of the Best of 7 Championship Series para sa All-Filipino Crown. Pick and roll. Oh, this is what the a favorite. Pass. This is the favorite. Marlo better let go of that dahil nung araw tinatawagan ng technical if you hang in a little bit too long there was nobody underneath him you, you can do that kung may nasa ilalim para hindi mo masaktan o hindi ka rin masaktan pero there was nobody there Marlo really just wanted to emphasize and get his teammates back in the game oh, parang binibigyan niya ng punctuation mark ng Dr. J para lang magising ng konti yung kanyang mga kakampi Marlo is a regular leader for any squad that he plays again look at that second cut Jerry Elmer Lago, offensive rebound na naman! Alam natin na malakas tumalaw nito si Elmer Lago because he won the slam dunk contest over guys like Nolly Loxin. So you cannot take him for granted when he rebounds on the offensive uh, end of the floor. No? A transferee only this year in a three-player deal, early part of the season. Illegal At defense. Illegal 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 and Gordon's jeans, if in season, a magiging uh, designated free throw shooter. Well, for me, he is the best uh, free throw shooter on the team, and almost always, since he gets about 40 minutes of ball game, he's going to get that technical free throw shot. It really helps him because the uh, kakaroon siya ng konting duelo. Now, when he gets that, medyo na sa round up yung mga three point shot niya, yung mga 20 footer niya, an early substitution for the Cowboys, Dindo Pumarin, coming in for Elmer Lago. And there you see the slam dunk ni Marlo Aquino trying to wake up his teammates. Matagal-tagal na rin nahimbing after uh, Pure Foods came out strong in the first quarter. Labing lima ang abante ng Pure Foods. Nakalusot si Baldevid. Goes the reverse. Wala! Well, he had the open layup there off the reverse. Jerry did not challenge that shot. Kulang lang ang pectus. Medyo talagang inaalat pa rin itong mga nakapute. Samantala, donking sa Zuman. Challenging Marlo Aquino. He misses the layup. 6.07 remaining. Nolly looks in. He gets clipped in the arm. At si Jerry Codinera ang tatawagan ng foul. Well, it's very clear that Nolly looks in was way ahead of Jerry Codinera in that play. Look at that mask that Jerry has to wear to protect the possible uh, fracture that he may have ar around the uh, nose area. No? He got him with the body. And that's where he was called for the foul. Now, Nolly looks in made two out of two in the first quarter. It's been a long while since he has gone back to the free throw lane. Kita mo naman yung numero sa rebounding. Labing dalawang boards na po. Ang tanke ng Gordon's gin and he continues to be perfect from the line. Mas marami pa siyang rebounds kaysa points although he has the opportunity now to equalize. But that's unfair. Puntos, dalawa-dalawa, may tatlo pa yan. <laughs> Rebound, isa-isa mong kukunin yan. Hindi naman, hindi naman dumadating yan. Of course, kay Nolly Minsa sa offensive rebound. One, two, three, four. Sabay-sabay na yan. Hanggang pumasok ang tira. Hindi naman. Because he never gives up. He's a timeless oh, yes. worker of the boards. What a worker indeed. He only looks in. Labing dalawang puntos. The top pick overall back in 1994. Gordon says had two top picks. No? Oh. Yeah. Five, second pick overall in 1995. Yeah. With Dennis Espina being the top pick. Narito ngayon si Pong Ravenna. He will get a blocking foul. Mula ko din siya rin. Obviously, nakikita ng crowd, Dr. J, na ang kakulangan ng Gordon is not so much their offense, but their defense. We'll talk about that. A little more after this timeout. Club Roman Traditional Fit. Club Roman Jeans and Shirts. Club Roman. Muli po, magandang magandang gabi, Pilipinas. Yan po si Congressman Ralph Recto. Better known as the better half. The better half of the ATP. Medyo si Ed Dixon, yung ating kasama, kasama yung mga anak niya, yung mga bodyguard niya. Ano naman si Ed eh, malapit na rin makasama si Ralph Recto niyan. Jerry, from the outside, all net. Jerry Codinera has been simply 
awesome dito sa ball game na to ay nanamuntik pa maagawan yeah. dun sa inbound ha? si Pumarin however will pick up a foul here a hacking foul on Pumarin but the concentration factor is the thing that has hurt Gordons in this ball game more than the pressure I think like that you know Baldabin's gotta come to the ball you gotta receive it you're the point guard you, you must expect the speed of Dito Pumarin to come and hustle you know Again, yung, siguro yung pinag-usapang championship experience na Dr. J. Yeah, and Dito's got pressure. a lot. Dito's got a oh, lot. Oo, ang dami niyan sa pulsa. May baong pa yan. Naman <laughs> dahil may foul sa pagsaksak ni uh, Lonnie Luxin. And Alvin Patrimonio will draw another foul. Ayun na. Oh, by the way, yan ang ating Hyundai PBA winning drives pro. Mga kaibigan, big cash prizes po 1-1. Plus isang Hyundai Elantra Sedan. Ang kami bigay sa Grand Draw. Ispatan lamang kung anong coach yan. Nakita nyo at ilagay sa entry form at hulog sa mga Ital Card dealers. For more details, pasahan, pasahin ang print ads at posters. Oh, Baldabid with an error. He should have gone to the basket. Right now, it's a 4-on-3 situation for the blue shirts. And Evangelista finish it off. Uh, Bong Rabena finishes that off. But a big error whenever you're trying to come back. You drive in and you throw the ball to the opponents. The points of turnovers for Cowboys is certainly terrific in this game. Walang puntos na si Bong Rabena. Corner jumper mula kay Benny Cheng and he has also been responding here. Si Benny Cheng lang at taka si Noli Luxin at talagang umi-escort dito sa third quarter para sa Cowboys, no? Before para sa Gordon Jean Boers, no? So down to a 15-point lead again. Gis puntos na para kay Benny Cheng. Ang average niya, only four points a ball game. Good tap mula kay Marlo Aquino. Baldavid trying to beat the double team. Noli Luxin sa kabilang tako. He gets a foul! May kasama pang basket! And the Boers now making its run, Dr. J. Diyan naman magaling talaga si Baldabid in the open court. When he sees the 3-on-2 situation, knows who to get the ball into. There's the push against Noli Lokchin. And he finishes off properly. So, Tresi na lang yan. Plus a free throw shot. And si Noli Lokchin will get a bonus free throw. JV Gayoso, Mr. Adrenaline. Back in the ball game. He played a couple of minutes. Noong first quarter. And the numbers of the tank, double-double already, this is the third quarter. The, the rebound stays at 12, but he has increased his points. It's now 15, 15 and 12, perfect from the free throw line. Noli is playing one of the games of his life, Yes. but nothing's going to happen if you lose. So that's why he wants to win this ball game. He's not giving up on this ball game. As a post, si Bong Ravena, na double team, Codinera. Omaren, wide open, he will take the jumper. Rebound, nakuha ni Benny Cheng. 4.07 remaining. Baldavid, pushing it up. Oh, tap from behind. Di Rey Evangelista. Pumarin naman. He will pull up. Take a short one. Lumabas. Evangelista offensive rebound. And it will go Gordon's way. And you can see the reaction of the uh, Cowboys bench. Medyo hindi yata nila nagustuhan yung tawag na yun. Ha? Pero nandun na yun. Malayo sa atin kaya hindi ko rin makikita. Oh. It's opposite of where we're seated. Yan po, nalalabing oras. Baldavi, di Binitin. Patanggap siya ng foul. No basket. However, he will go to the free throw line. At si Ray Evangelista will draw. No, no. It's on Dindo Pumarin. Excuse me. That will be third foul. Okay, Dindo Pumarin. Dito naman, nasa penalty na ang mga Cowboys. Ang Boers only four. Baldavid going to the free throw line for the first time, I think, tonight. No? And his numbers, 11 points, 5 assists per ball game. Gotta cut down on his turnovers if they're gonna get back here. But malaki ng headway ang ginagawa ng Gordons dito sa laban na ito. At dito sa third quarter, naging labing isa na lamang ang lamang ng mga Cowboys. Nagagalit na yung mga Boers. Oo, oh, nanunuwag na. <laughs> Miss One that. Two, yes. Well, si Baldavid, mga kabigan. Parang stop yung kanyang tira. No? Tinitigil dun sa ibabaw ng ring. Patrimonio has not scored in the third quarter. He has six points so far. Pupunta siya sa poste. Laban kay Noli Luxin. Natapik ni Noli Luxin. Nagkumilit. At may foul na itatawag. Laban kay Luxin. How many fouls does Noli Luxin have? I think that's three, no? Yes. Right. Walang free throw na ibibigay kay... Uh, Pido Alvin Patrimonio at ngayon si Pido Harenzo will check in para kay Bal David who's beating a little bit hard he made some errors but he also got his team back you know because of his good quarterbacking medyo natatakbo niya yung mga plays so much better than what happened in the first quarter and the double, double team, team huh? they get it out Podinara libre na naman this time it's wide 
There's a rebound by Evangelista. That's going to be legal defense on the USO. Yan ang pinatawag natin ni Stinson double team. One half way. Hindi din na loya, no? Wala pa yung bola doon na nagtatangka na si J.B. Gayoso. And you can. You just go straight all the way to the guy with the ball. But you cannot go halfway and then want to come back to your man, no? Nearing the three-minute mark. It is the third quarter. This is game number one. Live from the Cuneta Astrodome. Bong Ravenna. Yes! Triple B para kay Bong Ravenna. He's got a total of 11 now. And he also went to double team. Siguro sabi ni Marlo, ayaw ko ito. Ba't ka nag-double team dito? Ayaw ko ito. He hasn't backed me up yet. You know? Yung sinabi mo dati, Dr. J, na they have to respect yung ability ni Marlo. Talagang depensahan kahit na sino pumasok. Marlo in a close range, almost gets the basket. Number 16, foul na naman si Alvin. Bigat yun. Pang-apat na ni Patrimonio. And that's going to be a source of concern now for Coach Eric Altamirano. But it's still a 14-point lead para sa Pure Foods. For those who appreciate quality, Outlast Battery, winner of international awards for quality. As a free throw line, si Marlo, you know, obviously, this is both free throws. So, siguro alam rin ng pure foods yan, you know. Foul him, don't give him a dunk, don't give him a layup. Go, let, send him to the free throw line. Let's Ika, test him there. Isa sa mga manlalaro ni Sunny Jaworski na talagang tinututukan ng coaching staff ng Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys na kinabibilangan ni Frankie Lim. That's going to be an offensive foul on Jerry. He knocked down uh, J.P. Barroso. Look a little acting of course, pero talagang he shoved off because he, he thought he had the advantage at the post. Third foul ni Jerry Codiniera. By the way, si Alvin Patrimonio who picked up his fourth foul ay uh, iniupo muna ni Coach Eric Altamirano si Edmund Reyes back in the ball game. This is still a 14-point lead para sa Corn Beef Cowboys. Two minutes and ten seconds remaining in the third quarter. Ooh. And there's going to be a foul after that steal. Diyan magaling talaga si Evangelista. You cannot pass on him. Para uh, overhead pass. You have to pass at an angle and you have to make a bounce pass. Hindi aagawang ka. Ayun no, basang basang. Basang basang. And look how high he gets up into the air. Since they're in the penalty, automatic two free throw shots. Si Ray Evangelista, taga Ormok, later rin yan. At uh, ika nga, napili ng Pure Foods in the, back in the first round in 1994. Well, Was, alam mo, partner, if you look at the positions right now being played, where the, cowboy, where the Cowboys are beating the Boers very badly is in the back of the former senator and congressman Janos Menya right now, presently, uh, of course, uh, from the uh, Cebu, from Cebu oh. where the Osmenyas are a legend. By the way, Cebu... Uh, Ika nga, makapasyalan natin yan. Kailan? Sa Webes, pupunta ka dyan, Dr. J. Ay, wala. Ba't ka naman mapapasyalan natin? Mapapasyalan mo. Huwag mo naman mo. Hindi naman kami kasali mo. Baka ako gusto mo sumama, pero buy the ticket mo. Partner, I'll tell you something. Siguro hindi ka tatagal sa tagal ko sa Cebu. Because I was there when I was a small kid. Oh, nice block. Nice block on Marlo Aquino. A minute and 50 remaining. Nagmadali si Bong Ravena. Challenging the defense. Wala offensive rebound. Pumarin. However, there's going to be a loose ball foul dito. Laban kay J.B. Gayoso. And in every aspect of the game, uh, partner, mukhang talagang dinodomina ng, ng pure foods ang, corn, ang uh, Gordon's Gin. You're almost correct because even in the rebounding, they beat them 29 to 22 in the first half. They've gone to the free throw line a lot more. They shot better. Uh, they have had more fast break points. This was a let go call. There's the push by J.B. Gayoso against uh, Evangelista. A good call by referee Ilaga. That's Evangelista, babalik sa free throw line. Already with 10 points coming off the bench, si Ray Evangelista, who also likes playing against Gordon Zin in the semi-final round. He also improved his numbers. 12 points ang average niyan nung semi-final round. Every time lalapit ang Gordon, Pure Fruits has found a way to keep them away. At the same time, Gordon is just parang ginigisa sila nila sa sarili nila sa mantika nila by committing the turnovers instead of the capitalizing on their possession, ball possession. 
Cayoso from the three-point territory. Malakas na naman. At may rebound si Ray Evangelista. Isa pang uh, ikang aspect ng laro niya yan, Dr. J. A total of nine rebounds now para kay Ray Evangelista. I'm surprised if he doesn't play because they really need him on the floor. They, oh. I, I think he should play, no? but uh, he just, at this point, he's probably looking at the margin so big. But he, they need his leadership on the floor. 17-point lead para sa Pure Foods. Only two seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Kumara, and he'll pick up a foul here with only a second remaining sa shot clock ng Pure Foods. At si Pito Orenjo, tatawagan ng kanyang unang personal foul. If there's anything that is a bad foul, and if that's a foul, that's a bad foul. Si Dindo Pumaren, balik Pure Foods uh, franchise. Started his career with Pure Foods. At bumalik yan sa Pure Foods uh, lineup nila last year. Nung uh, itinplate siya for Jack Tanuan ng Pepsi. Samantala si Alvin Patrimonio, Directing cheering. Directing operations. Oh. Siya na lang head cheerleader doon dahil four fouls ngayon. Pero hindi naman kailangan dahil 18 ang abante ng Cowboys at the moment. Well, I think what they want to do is of course kung kaya man natin talunin, talunin natin. Kung kaya natin tambakan, tambakan natin and let them feel the pressure of trying to beat us. Oh. You know, if we get a game one, tinambakan natin, they're gonna have to make a lot of adjustments. Can they make the kind of adjustments? Full court press ng Corn Beef Cowboys. Another surprise. And this time they break the trap. A minute and five remaining sa third quarter. Disinwebe muli ang abante ng Corn Beef Cowboys. Aquino, laban di Jericho Diniera. Inilabas ki Benny Cheng. Jump shot. Yes! That's, that's almost always the play ng uh, Cowboys. No? They have not pressured. They have not ever trapped from the backcourt. To put a little pressure on Dito Pumare by sending two men against him. Oh. They've just allowed the Cowboys to do whatever they want on the floor. They foul pa. And they're in the penalty at least. Both teams, in fact, are in the penalty. As in big season, and that's why they're going to personal foul. And this lead is now beginning to creep into the minds of uh, Gordon's Jim Boris, Dr. J. Uh, they've not been able to really bring it down. They brought it down to 14. But again, they committed turnovers. They had it down to 13, actually. Tapos nag-miss free throw shot si Marlo Aquino. You know, sumababa talaga ang laro ng Boris. People expected them to come up strong here in the first game. Alam mo, nung tinatawag na buena mano ka agad, no? laban ka agad. No? People are asking me as a team, lalaban na ba ang Boris? I don't know, I, sh I should expect so. <laughs> this is a championship series as in Mr. Uh, Sobel, in Nico. I think he's the... Uh, President Trinata ng Ayala Corporation na. Si ano yun ito? Hanya Gusto. Si Hanya Gusto. Yes, that's uh, Jaza. Ika nga Hanya Gusto sa Bell de Ayala. Hmm. Uh, Ayala Corporation. Ayala. 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 May kasama ko. Siyempre kilala mo yun. Nasa Ayala. Parang unin ko niya. Tama mo naman kami dyan. Basta na po paano. Ang gunin mo naman mo naman. Well, right now, siguro, ika nga, yung kanya si... Ang wala dito si Don Jaime, but obviously, the entire management of Pure Foods on hand para sa kanilang kuponan. And why not? They're in their ninth All-Filipino Finals appearance in the last 10 years. Si Benny Cheng na naman, pero mintis pa rin. Disinwebe po ang abante ng Pure Foods. I hear the right idea. It's just a little too strong off the glass. Talaga yung tinatawag medyo malas na yun. Ang ganda ng pagkalusot niya, he just couldn't finish. At yan na lang ang nalalabing oras dito sa third quarter. Dominated by the Cowboys. Kumaren, sumiksik sa loob. Another tip in mula kay Ray Evangelista. And that has been the story of this third quarter. A desperation step, a pass okay. again. That will count. Si Dolly Luxin lang. Dolly Luxin will cut down that lead somewhat. Benicheng with eight points in the third quarter. But final quarter, dito sa game number one. Abante po ng 18 ang Pure Foods. Laman sa Gordon's Jin. Dolly Luxin who beat the, beat the corner buzzer. Gets another bucket from the outside well, in a space of less than 30 seconds five he points, made five points. Oh. <laughs> at yun lamang na yan labing anim it went up to as many as 22 quarter scoring Dr. J well the only quarter that they took and it had to take a three point shot but <laughs> the buzzer beater was the third quarter 26 but they also allowed you to score 25 depends on Imalo good defense there Noli Luxin clearing the boards again nadagdaga na yung kanyang rebound katorsi na Noli Luxin in atake offensive foul pang itatawag laban kay Luxin he pushed off with the other hand before going for that and you cannot you cannot take that away medyo nandun yung depensa so he pushes off against Edmund Reyes kung hindi ka may ang ginamit niya he might have gotten you know, balikat hindi, lang. Niya hindi niya ipababa yung balikat just balikat air to air ang apat ni Noli Luxin and the break still not going Gordon's way here 
Andala itong Purefoot's very patient sa kanilang offense. They look for the open man, milking the shot clock. Top ah, shot pala kay Jerry Cotinera. Uh, hurt or not hurt, he obviously is not hurt as far as his shooting hand is concerned. 14 points for the big man ng Purefoot's, anim na rebounds. At yung abante muli ng Purefoot's, umangat sa 18 puntos. 10 and a half remaining in the final quarter. He's on. Goes inside. Favorite okay. move. He's got to drive a little bit more. He's not been able to get some out good outside shots because parating uh, nandun yung kanyang gumi defense straight in his face. So he's, been, he's got to be able to drive a little bit more. He's a loose ball foul. Uh, uh, Alam mo na, pag-usapan natin si Vince Season, Dr. J. And you know, last year, it was a third conference again. Vince Heeson didn't have a particularly good uh, finals laban sa Alaska. And a lot of skeptics have been asking, Ika nga, si Vince Heeson ba, Ika nga, pang kampionato, pang finals? And, uh, you know, he's beginning to, I guess, hear a, a little bit about this. Yeah, first of all, he, you know, he's, he's, beginning, he's maturing in many, in many ways. Oh. He's not even as good that kind of a player. He's, 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 he's learning, so... It might take quite a while for him. The only problem is the team is expecting him to deliver in this conference, no? Because how many finals can you get into? Diba? Oh. We have hustle board natin, Dr. J. Pure foods. Lamang na lamang. Oh. Tawag na marker. 16 to 5, 7 to 1. Well, let him na rung nagpin season. Bumaba sa semifinals by at least four points of his offense. Samantala si Marlo Aquino. Nakalapot kay Jericho Dinera. And the lead. Down to 14 here, 9.45 remaining. Uh, this is a lot of time. Now, Pure Foods is beginning to play a little bit using the clock, which of course not the regular movement. Godinera. Inilabas. Nasa low pa rin si Ravenna. May foul na namang itinawag. As Ravenna lost the yeah, handle. He slipped, he slipped. Marlo Aquino will pick up a foul here. That will be number one on the skyscraper. At yan ang pangalawang team foul ng Gordon's Gin. Well, nakita mo na ipit dito. And Marlo just hangs on him because he slips. No? And he slips and sumabit sa kanyang kamay. Eh, yun ang sinasabi na iba yung mga senior referee at saka yung mga ganyang klaseng referee lamang. <laughs> just call, they just call everything that they see. Uh, uh. Well, breaks of the game here. Uh, there's an, that's quite slippery right now. Eh? Evangelista, however, misses the open shot. Labing apat lamang yan. By no means a one game here. Napakarami pa pong oras. 14, although it's been dominated by Pure Foods. Pero alam natin ang recuperating powers. Paul David misses a long one. Loose ball. Nakuha pa rin niya. He goes up. Gets blocked. And throws it up. He's on. Will pick up the loose ball. 18 seconds sa kanilang shot clock. He's on. Benny Cheng. Libre. Tumira sa labas. Wala pa rin. And a good rebound there by Patrimonio. But he doesn't... Uh, you know, he doesn't deliver the outlet immediately. Dahil alam niya lamang sila eh. So, let's use the clock. Hindi pa rin masasabi, Dr. Jane, na uh, Gordon is not getting their chance. They're yeah. really getting all the opportunities here. Pumarin, libre na naman. And where was the defense? Hindi na pumarin ngayon. A total of eight points. If you're going to double team, you better make sure that uh, you got help from the weak side, which is which did not happen for Gordon in that play. No? Maagawan pa si Balabin. Masyado siyang uh, ikakalagintay ng double team. Evangelista, chinalin si Benny Cheng. Mint this. But he will get his own miss. Gives it to Bong Ravenna. Side jumper off the glass. Wala pa rin. Valdavid now with the leather. 8.06 remaining. No fast break opportunity. At magkakaroon ng illegal D. Laban di Alvin Patrimonio. As he stayed too long sa so shaded lane. And that will mean a free throw para sa Gordon's Gin. So, kaya na nabanggit po namin, mga kaibigan, Pure Foods is 9-1 and one when they lead after three quarters. Heeson makes the technical free throw shot. The lead is 15. 8-0-1 left. Basibolado is going to see action for the first time for Jerry Cutinera. And we have Lago coming in. Sino pinaliro ni Lago? Ang babagdan ni Elmer Lago. Si Bong Rabena. Bong Rabena, yes. Yeah, Rabena had... Scampered off to the bench <laughs> quickly. <laughs> si Chris Bolado making his ninth straight finals appearance, the most by any PBA player. Samantala may foul. Si Bolado. Si he quickly Bolado. And, uh, acknowledges it. Yes, that's a record of sorts para kay Jumbo Bolado. He had eight straight with Alaska. Uh, napalipat nga siya dito sa Pure Foods. 
But this is his ninth consecutive finals appearance. So she up with us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he is going to be wide open because of the double team. And he's going to make a triple team. Well, matagal-tagal lang inintayan ng Gordon's Gen fans. Vince Season finally cracking one from the Triple B area. At ang abante ng Purefoots, labing dalawa. Inside pass, and there's going to be a foul again on Vince Season. Neither team in the penalty. Season will pick up his fourth personal foul. Third team foul called against Gordon, one against Purefoot. Side court draw in here for the Cowboys, who have led all the way in this yes. ball game. Di pa maabante ang Gordons. It was a seven to nothing run na kasimula itong larong ito. Hindi naka ikang na nakaporma ang Gordons Jin without a Marlo Aquino on the floor, the regular center. Ah, oh, hindi dalig kay Marlo Aquino. Si Lopez talaga nila bago na kaiskoy. Oh, nice block. But a good a foul call. And Benny Chen protesting the call. Tignan mo, sabi ni Benny Chen. Ito, pagsaksak ni Patrimonio. Tignan mo, sabi niya. Kaya naging kapos. From another angle. As Benny Chen will pick up another foul. Yes, and you can see how Patrimonio did push off. Mas magandang angulo yun. Panglima na ni Benny Chen. At si Patrimonio at the line. He's been also well scouted by a lot of the teams. And obviously in the Champions League Series, two to two, and then the position of Abin Patrimonio. Let's take a look at the things for the captain. Strength, excellent post-up player, good scorer, clutch player, willing to take the shot and reach defense well. Kaya magaling pumasa. Weakness sometimes nagre-react sa mga referees call and medyo hindi siya bumababa sa defense. Well, si Alvin Patrimonio, mga kaibigan, in this ball game only seven points, but his team has led all the way. One out of two from the line that time. Benny Cheng, he will pick up a foul. Mulaki Jambu Vulado. And si Benny Cheng ay pupunta sa four and a half meter line. Titignan mo dito sa team ng Gordons, the guys that are showing experience are of course Aquino and Noli Loxin plus Benny Cheng. Oh. Benny Cheng knows, sasaksak ako, you know, I might get a callback. You know, and he does that. And he's been taking, he's been positioning himself at the top of the foul circle and taking good jump shots. You know, the, he has made a lot of those jump shots from the top of the uh, 4.5 meter line. A five-year veteran, si Benny Cheng. Started his career also sa Pure Foods. At na-trade yan by Pure Foods plus a 1995 first-round pick to Tinebra San Miguel back in 1995 para kay Manny, Manny Victorino. Victorino yes. And he gets, he gets both free throws. Ang abante ng uh, Gordons, Dr. J, labing isa. He's the lowest. Huh? Lowest it's been in a long, long while. Yes, ang abante ng uh, Cowboys here. Not a very high scoring ball game now as a scoring a stop for, uh, you know, medyo bumabagal ang plays. Eh, no? Malapit na po tayo, under seven minutes to play. Naagawan si Dindo Pamaren. Bal David, bounce pass. No, pass to Vince Eason. Gets a foul, gets the basket! And the lead is down to nine here, plus a bonus free throw para kay Vince Eason. Well, what's happening right now is they're causing the turnovers on the other end because of the foul of... Uh, Lago, nagkaroon ng three-point opportunity dito si Vince Season. He's on with 15, make that 16 points. Nakita nga natin ang numero nila at the half ng fast break points. And Gordon's Gin averages 17.6 points in the semifinals in the conference, 15.4. Napakalaki ang labang nila sa Pure Foods, pero sa larong ito, it's been Pure Foods dominating the fast break. Another steal, pero may foul. Naitatawag laban kay Wilmerong. Well, the hands are there, and that's gonna be a foul. Five team fouls no bayan. Fourth foul, ni Wilmer Ong, Dr. J. And the fifth team foul. That's right. Which will put Gordons into the penalty with 6.37 left in this ball game. Alam mo, dito sa finals, we have four complete timeouts for the teams, no? Plus the 20 and the 30-second 30 30 injury time. timeout. Yes. Lago! Takes three a three. three! Yes! Muling sinagot ni Elmer Lago yung pag-atake ng Gordons Chin. At bumalik ang abante sa labing isa. He's on, will stop. 6-17 remaining in the final quarter. Aquino, laban kay Jambo Bolado. Na double team, muntik na mabitawan. Aquino goes up, gets the basket. What a move from the skyscraper. Yan ang sinasabi ko, kung hindi si Jerry, if you're gonna get a Bolado, or you're gonna get a Cabato to guard Aquino, they cannot guard him. They're gonna need Jerry back in the ball game. You know, the presence and the poise Displayed by Marlo. Ito, nawala na ang bola. Pero alam pa rin niya ang gagawin. Laying down. 
Oh, what a move, Dr. J. Yung second year veteran. Uh, ikang uh, rookie of the year last year. Ito lang ang problema niya talaga. Hindi free niya throw mabuo ito talaga. And he has missed three free throws here in this uh, second half. Those are big free throw shots that he's missing right now. At pagdating sa stretch, obviously, nahanapin na si Pablo. No foul call there as Park Limonio and Aquino got entangled. And there's going to be a foul. Hey, Benny Cheng. That's obviously an offensive foul on one end that was not called. And Benny Cheng oh will have to leave here because... Six personal fouls kay Benny Cheng. Ang ganda ng inilalaro. Itong malalarong ito una, itong galaw ni Pablo Limonio. Yeah, this is obviously an offensive oh. foul that was not called. And then, of course, after that, there is Benny Cheng holding on to Bolado. He's going to be called for the foul. Uh, and Ong was even there. And Benny has to leave despite his great game. Oh. So Noli Loxin will come back. 14 points para kay Benny Cheng. Two, uh, three rebounds. At yung hustle na ipinakita niya. Ngayon si Noli Loxin ay babalik sa laro with 5.55 remaining. It is a final quarter. Nine point lead para sa Purefoot's Corn Leaf Cowboys. They, they led by as many as 22. Ang Gordon's has never tasted the lead. Jerry yes. with his mass. Yes. Hindi makapasok si Jerry dahil ang papalitan niya sa Bulado. So they'll have to wait for the next dead ball situation or a timeout being called. Sa Mandala si Bong Ravena, pinotan si Ray Evangelista. Balik sa sampu ang abante ng uh, Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys. Bulado makes one out of two. He's not a bad free throw shooter through the years. Uh, not to be looking at him. Not to be looking at him. He had one good championship game when he was back in Alaska. Wilmer Ross, he makes a lot of That was a good block. Bolado doesn't like it either. Yes. Oh, oh they were going to take the ball back. Because not going to. You know, si Bolado, medyo ini-stress niya na maaari daw make a call. Yeah, that's a block. Clear block. That's a clear block. Asak si Wilmer Wong from another angle. Boot attack. Wong should have laid up with the left hand. He would not have been blocked. He went going from left. Pumunta siya sa kanan. Inabot siya ng timing ni Bolado. Technical free throw shot first. And then the free throw, sh free throw shot for Wilmer Wong. Yeah, in the act of shooting na pala yun. Both teams, nasa penalty na po mga kaibigan. Limang minuto, apat na put. Apat na pong saglit ang nalalabi sa ating final quarter. Uli, nagagalak kami mga kasama kayo, Pilipinas. Lalong lalo na sa ating mga kaibigan sa Laguna, sa San Pablo City. Noli Yala po kasama si Dr. J. Andy Ha for Game 1 of the Championship Series between Gordon's Jay and Purefoot's Corn Leaf Cowboys. At ngayon, si Jerry Codinera babalik sa laro, papaltan si Jumbo Bolado. He gave his minutes. He performed pretty creditably. Meanwhile, they need Jerry back, and you saw Eric Altamirano uh, on a kneeling gesture uh, on the other end. Still major relax, but you know, he can sense that the other team is beginning to come back. Kumalog ang tira ni Wilmer Ong, malakas. So, walo ang abante ng Pure Foods, 5.35 remaining. Wala pa rin nagta-timeout dito sa quarter na ito. Mga pang abante, so dalawang put dalawa, nag-ahabol ngayon. And Gordon Sien, Pakimonio, laban ki Wilmer Wong. Six seconds sa kanilang shot clock. Four seconds to shoot. Codinera knows it. Inilabas ki po. Marilago ni Val David. David will go all the way to the basket. He will get it. And the lead is down to six. At ayaw na ni Eric Altamirano. He already called the timeout, pero nahuli. So he's going to yes. ask his player to be the one to call the timeout as they cross. Maybe a 20 second. Tignan natin kung ano ito. Yes. 20 second and just shoot. And Eric Altamirano knows that they're in trouble. They're just up by six. Watch this play again. Shot clock winding down, Dr. Jane, anticipating Valdovin. Yeah, even though if he could have gotten the pass, malamang abutan ng 24 seconds. Pero iba yung naagawan because nag clear home run. Okay. Let's call play. And then, kailangan pabilisin natin yung game. Keep up the pressure, and then let's push the ball. Let's run. 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 Let's run.
as uh, Pure Foods Cowboys pare as they enter into the fourth quarter with a 7-18 or 17-point lead. Let's check that. Eh, nangyari, eh, you know, they started uh, using the clock. You know, they weren't playing as aggressive as the way they played the first three quarters. Uh, running, setting up the plays, crushing the boards dito. At gumagamit na sila ng shot clock. Eh, hindi na nagkakaroon ng defense na rin tuloy ang Gordons against their uh, half-court game. Labing dalawang puntos ang abante ng Gordons dito sa quarter na ito. At bumuk, segundo na lang ang shot clock. One second to shoot, inilabas pa ni Patrimonio at mauubusan ng oras. Inabot na yun. Ibayo yes, inabot na. And now, Gordon's Jin beginning to tighten up sa kanilang depensa din, Dr. J. Dalawang beses na yan na uh, ika nga, nagpihigpit sila sa kanilang depensa at nauubusan ng oras ang pure foot score Leaf Cowboys. Well, you've always said that if you're going to come back from big deficits, you've got to play defense. If you don't make stats, you obviously are not going to be able to come back. Yes. And to win championships, there have been always that uh, idiom that you must be a good defensive team. Huh? The defense never sleeps, ika nga. Oh, that's a bad pass. pass. That's the wrong guy to pass to. He was oh, yes. wide open for the three-point shot. And we welcome you to game number one of the finals ng All Filipino Cup. Live from the Cuneta Astrodome. At uh, naanyayahan din namin kayo mga kaibigan. Isa pang bakbakan sa Sabado naman. Laban ni Luisito Espinosa. Laban kay uh, Manuel Medina for the WBC featherweight crown. Sa Sabado po sa Luneta Grandstand. Ang ating topic will start at 7 o'clock. It's uh, IBC 13. So, Natala Patrimonio breaks the spell para sa Pure Foods Cornwall Cowboys. Oh, what a very crucial turnover for Gordon. Instead of being able to cut the lead, they lose another two points. There's going to be a foul on Dean Pumarin. The They're also in the penalty. So, Baldavid is going to go to the free throw line. Still a lot of time. Let's take a look at Commissioner's roles. From far left, as medyo na takpan yun. Two commissioners actually there, si Commissioner Jim Bernardino, uh, si Commissioner Ray Marquez, and of course Senator Franklin Drillon, katabi naman niya sa kanan, at Congressman uh, Gary Tevez, si Mr. Economy ng ating uh, kongreso. A lot of stars, a lot of the uh, mga uh, suki ng PBA up here to watch this important game number one. Sani Jaworski in his 29th finals appearance as a player and coach. Well, I think this team needs a timeout right now. Or somewhere along the line, pagod na mga players. You know, that's the reason why Baldavid missed that one. This one, he makes the adjustment, cuts the lead down to seven. Four minutes and three. Four timeouts, a 20 and a 30 second injury. A lot of, lots of timeouts that you can use to get your team back together. Under four minutes to play here. You gotta keep the pressure. Oh, kalahan, patuloy ang pressure dito. Seven point lead para sa Corby Cowboys. Botinera. Seconds Six seconds of shot clock. Evangelista throws a hard one. Oh, what a basket para kay Ray Evangelista. Nobody picking up for the ball for Gordon's because they don't have the luxury of time. Nasa ni Baldavid na tapik ni Jerry Codinera. Pupunta ko Jerry o ni Dindo Pumarin. Balik ni Codinera. Pull up jumper. He gets to another one. And the lead is back to 11. And they're fighting back the Corn Beef Cowboys at may timeout on Gordon's gym. Paddock's Jeans, a legend on its own. Paddock's, the official jeans of the PBA. Almost the ball oras. It is a final quarter. Labing isa pare ng abante ng Pure Foods. Loxin still trying to cut this lead down. He gets blocked from behind by Evangelista. Loxin tried a very difficult shot after getting the offensive rebound. And so nothing came out of that timeout call. And Dr. J, yun ang pinag-uusapan mo kanyo. Hindi ka nga pinatanggit mo yung timeout. At napakalaga. Para sa Gordon's Gym, but again, having some problems. Well, mga kaibigan, on pumila ng mga key players of the game. Some insights from the coaches and of course, a little bit of fan participation sa ating post-game show. At yan po yung magpapasimula sa Biernes in game number two of this best of seven well, series. Well, alam natin kasi after the first game, kanina may laban para sa third place na pinanalo ng Santa Lucia. After that, uh, yung mga succeeding games of this championship series, one game only, the exhibition game, but of course, uh, yeah, it's not going to last that long. Oh, nice play. And now, Pure Foods beginning to put the icing on the cake. Ika nga, labing apat na ang abante ng Pure Foods Corned Beef Cowboys with only two and a half remaining and a bad pass. Muntik na naman maagaw. 
It will remain, however, with Gordon Sijin. At ngayon, si JP Gayoso, huhugutin na si Will Marong at si Sonny Jaworski Tila. Nagahanap na ng court of last resort. Uh, probably the three-point shot here. Couple of, some people now are beginning to make a beeline for the exits. As Purefoods has a big, big lead here. Good season, so Mogotambagya. Lead is down to 12, 2 and 20 remaining in the final quarter. Siyempre, yung mga fans ng Purefoods hindi pa umaalis dito. Oo. Matrimonio. May foul na naman si Nori Loxin. Yung mga fans ng Gordons, more or less, the whole night, they've been frustrated. Really have that... Ay, yung mga bata dyan. Si Jill para sa Cowboys, buhay na buhay sila. No? Eh, tumagto sila. Eh. Yung mga uh, Gordon Skins, uh, mga banners dyan, eh, medyo kainik. Oh, hindi, hindi lumabas eh. No? <laughs> Except for a couple of uh, runs, ika nga. Actually, Dr. Jayton Marong ito, yung stretch ng first quarter, nung lumamang ng seven to nothing, parang... Uh, Agad na wala yung crowd at the Pure Foods Corn Beef Cowboys right away dictated the tempo of this game. Well, you know, he, Gordon's has had that problem in the semifinals, di ba? Na, ilang games natin nakita yun. May time 9-0, 12-0 against different teams uh, in the semifinals. Against one, they were able to come back. Against another one, they also got clubbed. You know, they've got to be able to get themselves going faster in the first quarter of the yes. game. No? There's a naiiwan ng parati sila. Last two minutes is brought to you by new premium dry long and gin, just right for you. And si Loxin mapafaal ni Bong Ravenna. This is a 14-point lead para sa Eurofoods Corn Beef Cowboys. Interesting stat, Eurofoods is 10 and 2 this year kapag ang kanilang mga kalaban ay hindi nakaka-score. Ikangan ng uh, 80 puntos, although Gordon's is 78, Purefoods is 92. La layo na kanila from their uh, scoring yeah. average, Dr. Jim. Yes. Alam mo, it would have been interesting kung may oras tayo para sa post-game show, pero wala tayo for this game. But uh, like I said, sa succeeding, abangan na tayo. Because, you know, you're gonna get the coach's reaction. Maybe not from the losing coach, baka ayaw niya. But from the winning coach, what are you planning for the next game? Are you gonna sit on your lawyers? You're gonna ask the players, what are the things that you've got in preparing for this? Maybe perhaps the losing team also, but as uh, I think the players that would probably want to comment on how they should play this team the next time around. Yes. We know that we're going to have to win all of them. We're going to have to win all of them. We're going to have to win all of them. Exactly. For your favorite group, like the fans of Rodos. What are you going to do? Starting up. Maybe you're going to have to win all of them. Maybe you're going to have to win all of them. Maybe you're going to have to win all of them. Uh, malaking adjustment. This is a long series, Dr. J. Obviously, a beautiful game, well prepared for us a game one. Yeah. In preparation to Sani Jaworski, it didn't really work for him this time around, but uh, malayo pa itong sering ito. Yeah, it's a minute and 16 seconds left, 10 point lead. Well, it's going to be 4 1. Para sa, oh, that's a nice steal there by uh, Rizal. And it's going to get another one, another three. Yeah. 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 Ginagawa ng itong 4-1 and Purefoods has won the last three meetings. Ito sa konferensya ng ito. And unless a major miracle or a major self-destruction happens here, and Purefoods will go four straight. Laban sa Gordon's Gin and they will take a one to nothing lead here in the next seven series. Matrimonio back at the free throw line. Medyo siguro tatawag pa rin ang timeout dito ang Gordons. May timeouts pa sila. He's got that in and he makes this. You know, that's still a lot of time. You've got to show the spirit. You've got to show that you can be able to execute. Nakita ko kasi si Coach Salosan medyo tumatayo. We got a sister coach. Tinesenyas nun. Siguro pagpasok na kami timeout dito. Sakto ka, Dr. J. Sakto ang abandon of Purefoods. May timeout po tayo. Only a minute and ten remaining. This is the final quarter. Sampu po ang abandon ng Purefoods Corn Leaf Cowboys. However, possession ng Gordon's Gin. And the Purefoods, only that much time away from getting their first win in the series. Uy, natapik pa. Pupunta pa yan sa Purefoots. Yan, natapik. Tumama sa, sa hita. Ni Baldevin on the way out. Good call. By the way, nagwagi po kanina ang Santa Lucia laban sa San Miguel Beer. As we hear this foul, wala kay JP Gayoso. In their battle for third, Santa Lucia winning 75-64. 
So uh, San Felicia will gain third place and Miguel will, will finish fourth with the All Filipino Cup. Well, for the real tourists, again, another yeah. third place finish. Yes. They're really hoping to and looking, eagerly looking forward to a possible place in the finals. No? Tagal, tagal na. To feel the pressure. Eh? You know, like the Gordons, a lot of people expect them to do much better than what they did today because last year, lumaba na sila sa championship. Hindi mo na masasabi na hindi na sila sanay o nakatikim ng pressure. But they did not respond very well another time out. Okay. Pakitanong mo kay Andy kung meron siyang gustong itanong. Yan po ang ating score with only a minute and two remaining dito sa fourth quarter. 95-84, 11 point lead para sa corn Beef Cowboys. As Paul David tries to whittle this lead somewhat, make it a little more respectable. Ika nga at may foul na itatawag laban kay Dindo Pumarin. Maganda ang play yun sa side court pro in the line. Well executed. Maganda ang movement. You know, sometimes they should think. You know, I think Sunny really devises some of the better plays, like I said, from uh, half court from uh, the sideline and as a baseline. Pero misan, I don't know why the players do not move in the game. No. Yung, yung coming from the backcourt, the way that they move from the, that kind of a throw-in. But the bit deliberately missing that and thrown out by Jerry. So oh. another chance for Gordons. They're down by 10. 57.7 seconds left. You're going to need three miracle three-point <laughs> shots and, and, and another one. In 57 tie, seconds. Which is not impossible. Tano mo kay Miller yan. Reggie Miller. Aquino nasa gitna. And he gets his 13th point. Only 13 points para kay Marlo Aquino. Malam niya ang kanyang pagpapasimula. And there's a foul given up here by Baldavid to stop the clock. Eight-point lead para sa Court Beef Cowboys. And yan ang ating player of the game, mga kaibigan. Si Ray Evangelista, off the bench. Dr. J, yung mga numero niya. Yeah, 16 points, 12 rebounds, 4 steals. His presence, you know, he's really... That's a small forward position. Medyo maganda rin ang linaro ni Benny Cheng. Pero kung sa mga iba, yung medyo lamang na lamang ang uh, pinaglaro ni Ray Evangelista, uh -huh. that small forward position. Well, si Dindo Pumarin, hindi nga... Dadagdagan na lamang itong uh, kalamangan ng Corn Beef Cowboys. And the Cowboys are only 50 seconds away and they will have a 1 to nothing lead dito sa ating All Filipino Cup Championship Series. At ang ating game number 2 mga kaibigan ay mag magaganap sa Araneta Coliseum sa Piernes. Tuloy-tuloy po ang aksyon and obviously both coaches going to battle with a different strategy. In retrospect, Dr. J, obviously, si Sadie Jaworski will have to make some, some adjustments. And what are those adjustments? Well, he's going to make a lot of adjustments as you see this ball being not out. He's going to be able to get his team to regroup. Mm -hmm. I think he has to set up more plays for his team. I would think that I think he should try some uh, other types of defenses like trapping in the backcourt because he only does that pag uh, nagkakaroon ng pagtalo na sila eh. Oh. Yung para kang oh, yeah. at this stage na kita mo na they're putting pressure on the backcourt but pag lamang ang kalaban eh, you know uh, during the regular uh, run of the game they don't do that they don't put pressure at all. Yung no? Zinn fouls out nice and had a good game started oh, yes. off well and had a great number of rebounds. 25 puntos si Noli Loxin as he fouls out of the game. Total of 16 rebounds para kay Noli Loxin. Talaga namang inangat niya yung kanyang laro pero malas lang talaga Ika, yung... Ika kulang sa suporta. Kulang sa suporta. And they really got themselves, uh, they dug themselves into a hole too early and they could never get out it first too early and too deep. That's right. <laughs> And if you look at the numbers, habang inuhugot na yung mga ikanga players ni Coach Eric Altamirano, giving them the accolade and the applause that they duly deserve dito sa larong ito si Jerry Coutinho na uupo na ngayon. Yeah, ito ay bravery na talaga ito because that's a very dangerous uh, injury that he has. No? Mas or no mas. Think, Lalaro. <laughs> uh, no, in a way, I also commend Gordon's style. They never went after his face. That's right. You know, I mean, uh, they played him uh, as clean as they could, a guy that's injured. So, bibigyan mo rin sila ng gano'n. At uh, diretso laro namin. We played basketball. Look at the numbers as we take a look at this foul here. Only siguro to delay of the game. Delay of the game. Warning for the game. Oh. Oh. It's a wishing charge to the team. 
And if you look at the numbers, Dr. J, Simar Lokino, way below his average, only 13 points today. So Baldavid had 11 points, but it came at the latter stages of the uh, ball game. But again, the bench, Langordon Sin, hindi masyado nakapag-deliver. Si Pilo Jarencio, only with three points. That was a three-point shot. Yes. Si Gayoso, isa pang uh, nangamote today. No points para kay J.P. Gayoso. Obviously, yung kanyang outside shooting would have opened up the defense ng Pure Foods. Yeah, he even, remember, he was stealing a layup and he missed the layup. And namintis niya, no? And Arencio will go back to the game. Nating apat na saglit na lang. Pinapahaba pa yung uh, ika nga yung initensya nitong Gordon Sin. It was by fouling. Yes. Again, we remind you, sa Sabado naman, laban ni Luisito Espinosa at Manuel Medina, ipapalabas po dito sa Channel 13 para sa WBC featherweight crown ganap na ikapito ng gabi. Dito lang po sa BTV on IBC TV 13. And both fouled out. Both pero fouled out. Both, both played, played very well. well. Yes. Both played very well. I, I would say that uh, together with Malo, maybe the beat, they were top four players in the team. He's on heavy share. But he's just got to pick up his game a little bit more. And I think got to position himself a little bit better for those outside shots. Kailangan, they have got to have more plays in the non-movement for him to get uh, those chances to make. It's going to be cancelled. Dahil walang tao doon, si Lalen. Actually, itong score ng Pure Foods na 102 points. It's really an indication na they don't really score that ma don't many points. Pero tonight, parang talagang madaling iskuran yung depensa ng Gordon's Gin. As Ben Season will take slam it off with this pack. Slam dunk. So, dito naman tayo sa triple. Pagbigyan mo naman ako sa puta ng donkey. Si Marlo Tumira. Hoy, tinamaan yung putiki. At yan ang magwawakas itong game number one. Mga oh, may foul pa. Oh, come on. And still a foul is called by referee De Leon here. As the game expires, <laughs> si Edmond Reyes will take two free throws to formally end this game.